All right, everybody, it's uh, Bo Hyman once again with a quick video. I wanted to do a review of the uh, model I just completed in my collection, my uh, Gundam Hall video collection. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about the Power G oh, Sorry, I got a bunch of stuff still in the box. The Power GM Cardigan. Da -da -da -da. Uh, this is number 19 in the series, the Build Fighters Tri series. If you didn't know, uh, I'll link it here or just go back and look at my other videos on my YouTube page. Um, I recently won a bunch of, I won the entire uh, Build Fighters Tri line, or most of the Build Fighters Tri uh, line of model kits from Bandai and uh, Hobby Town USA. And so what I decided to do is I was going to start reviewing them as I built them. Last time, I think the first one I did is up there on my shelf, the Denial Gundam. Um, I was happy with the build, but now that I've been experimenting more with washes and doing other stuff, um, painting and stuff, I'm probably going to go back and clean it up and paint it and have some fun. Um, but after I did the denial, I thought, well, instead of uh, just randomly doing uh, kits, I'll go down the order of the kits because they start off at, at number 18 or 17 or something like that and go down. Um, I did give two kits away to my 10-year-old neighbor. He's a good kid. I gave him the uh, winning Gundam that transforms or that you can turn into a, a normal-sized Gundam. I didn't really like that one. He seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, and then I also gave him uh, one of the burning Gundams, I think. Um, I'll, actually, I'll just put up a picture here of all of the Gundams I have left at the time of this video. And so what I thought I would do is just go from the order, you know, the very, I just did 19, so I'll do 20, which is the Lightning Gundam, which is the kid with the glasses in the, in the anime, it's his Gundam, and just go down the list like that, and, um, uh, uh, you know, and just do them in the order. It, what's interesting about doing that is it seems like they actually gain difficulty as you go along, so for someone like me who's still learning all the painting techniques, or at least it, I'm an artist, so this is kind of familiar to me, at least applying these my painting techniques to these models, that is a good way to kind of go, uh, to kind of grow in skill as the kits become a little harder. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lightning next. Uh, but with this kit, the cardigan, I wanted to make something that looked really dirty. Well, I, I wanted that dirty. If you watched my last video, I did. I talked about making greasy and like construction equipment, and this one is yellow. Uh, I'll be putting pictures here so you can see. Um, I damaged it a lot. I scraped it on the concrete. I literally cut off pieces. Um, on the legs, I tried a, more of a, of a Gundam marker technique. Uh, if you're familiar with these at all, these are basically an oil-based marker that you can put on and then wipe off. Um, I used some enamels, some flat enamels. Um, I used, uh, let's see what else, uh, a wash, which I really fell in love with a wash. It's a brown wash that you put on. You let it dry to a point and then you start tamping it off with a Q-tip and uh, eventually you, you're, you're basically painting through subtraction instead of addition that way. So it's kind of neat. Uh, and I'm going to keep experimenting with different techniques. Some of them worked. As you can see, some of them didn't. I enjoyed using some of the metallic paints. Uh, those were really cool. They gave it a little bit of a pop on the back of the legs, on the on the uh, spouts for the fire and all that kind of stuff. So um, I really enjoyed it. What I like about this kit is it has these two shields that come out from the back and spread out and can use as protection, but you can also use them to kind of stand the model up to, I mean, it can, it's a really, I didn't think I would like them that much, but I really enjoy them. They're kind of, I think they would probably be a little bit impractical in battle or whatever because the arms are seemingly so weak. Um, but I really like them as a as a gimmick. They're really kind of interesting. The two big guns on top I just painted kind of quickly with some uh, silver paint and then I, I uh, washed them. I don't really... I actually, those guns, if you look at them, they're, uh, they're, they don't have the long barrels that the kit came with. I actually took those barrels off and just added a poly cap on the end. Uh, kind of kit bashed it a little bit to make it look like a shorter nose gun. So... Overall, I really enjoyed the kit. I enjoyed building it a whole lot. I learned a whole lot just through the process of this kit. And as the comments in the Texas Gundam groups noted, it really does kind of work well as kind of a dirty, construction-y looking kind of model. What I'm hoping to do is eventually build up my skill set and learn some of these techniques so that when I get down to the prettier models, like the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called there. The, uh, which one is it? Uh, Transient Gundam, for example. The curvy ones, the pretty ones, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Um, once I get to there, I'm going to be able to do a pretty kit instead of just dirtying it up and beating it up. I'm going to actually make it look really nice. Maybe blend some paint, do some different things. So, so far I really enjoyed the kit. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'll probably move it on to lightning next. Although I did put up the picture and some people said I should do the, the Shiki or some of the other ones. So I don't know I, I, if I'm going to go down the line or not. So uh, we'll see. But my next video will be the next one I do. If you have any comments or suggestions for painting techniques, please uh, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I'm always doing videos. So thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.